the DC riots. Now, it's going to be interesting because this may turn into a three point conversation because I, I tend to take a different stance on this than Josh here, right? Though I'm not a very, I'm not saying violence is the answer. I'm, I'm, I take the stance that basically the left's hatred has infected the right for one night only. And we're being penalized in a way that the left would never let happen after months and months of rampant destruction, lives lost, billions of dollars of damage. So I'm wondering if maybe I'm missing the point because it is the significance of the Capitol building. He says this was wrong. I can speak on my you own. Speak I can, he'll, if, I let, <laughs> if I let him, he won't shut up for the entire 15 right. minute video. So my stance is, I, I, I think it was, wor- I mean, I think that the left riots were worse because it went on for way longer and it damaged way more property. But, you know, the Capitol is very symbolic as the seat of power of America. And you can't let that be breached and just vandalized and destroyed. So you have to hold something at least a little more sacred. But I'm not going to hold it. I'm not letting anyone off the hook. I think it was wrong when BLM and Antifa did it. I think it's wrong when these Save America rioters or, I don't know, American Viking hat wearing people, whatever the hell they were Bison doing. Bison man for president. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah I, I think I it was wrong. Agree. Yeah, I, I agree with you guys on that point. And, you know, I know a lot of people when the first videos came out of all of this, they were saying, well, those actually weren't Trump supporters. It was Antifa. And I'm like, well, there were some Trump supporters there. Like, let's let's be honest here, you know, and. I'm not saying that they all were. I think there was probably a mixture of who knows what, you know what I mean? There's just so many people. Um, we also saw videos where they were kind of led into the Capitol building as well. But, you know, ultimately, I agree. You know, if, if there were any Trump supporters or or anything like that that were in the Capitol building vandalizing or, you know, I know a lot of people like Bridget going into Nancy Pelosi's office and they're on their laptop wow. and all this stuff. I mean, the, the point is that, yeah, you think about the Chaz chop zone. You know, I mean, they the left wing crazy people took over like six blocks of Seattle for a long time. I mean, they didn't stop till people started dying in there and, and you had the BLM stuff. I mean, there was more than 60 officers wounded or killed in the line of duty for that yeah. kind of stuff. And, and what, what was, what are the repercussions for them? Absolutely nothing. So yeah, exactly. I, I agree. I agree. It's wrong regardless. And I condemn the violence either way, you know, and to, and to your point, I kind of agree. Do I think there were some maybe Antifa or outside agitators? Yeah, sure. But I'm not going to sit here and say that there were no Trump supporters yeah, that's, involved. That's not, I think a lot of them. Like, you but, can't have it both I, ways. I know everybody wants to, but it's like you either need to take ownership for it because like half of Republicans are saying, storm the Capitol. Yeah, like that's us. You know, no. I was there. And then the other half's like, that wasn't us at all. And I'm like, come on, guys. Like it's probably somewhere like, in the middle, you know? Bad behavior is bad behavior, yeah. but I do believe you shouldn't you shouldn't penalize the group for the actions of a few. Exactly. You know exactly. I mean?